Good morning. Welcome, welcome to the first Sunday of 2021. We've made it. What a task it has been, hoping, praying, conquering, blessing 2020. And now we take into 21 a whole mount of wisdom. And so I welcome you to our service this morning, this first one for 2021. And I welcome Clinton Volheim as our speaker, who will no doubt inspire us. Welcome to all of you into 21. My prayer for us all is that we will be blessed with insight of ourself, of our greatness, and that we will embrace every aspect of it. So please join me as we open the service with a New Year's blessing. In this new year, may you have a deep understanding of your true value and worth, an absolute faith in your unlimited potential, peace of mind in the midst of uncertainty, the confidence to let go when you need to, acceptance to replace your resistance, gratitude to open your heart, the strength to meet your challenges, great love to replace your fear, forgiveness and compassion for those who offend you, clear sight to see your best and true path, hope to dispel obscurity, the conviction to make your dreams come true, meaningful and rewarding synchronicities. Dear friends, who truly know and love you, a childlike trust in the benevolence of the universe, the humility to remain teachable, the wisdom to fully embrace your life exactly as it is, the understanding that every soul has its own course to follow and the discernment to recognize your own unique inner voice of truth and the courage to learn to be still. This was written by Janet Reban. What a beautiful blessing. May God grant each one of us all of these things in our focus for ourselves. So let us welcome 2021. Let us not project any past onto this year, but let us embrace it and let us step into its potentials that it holds for us. For it is pregnant with so many possibilities. Let us make a commitment to live fully in the now. Every part of our being, body, mind, emotion and spirit. And let us make space to embrace the unknown part of our greatness and let us surrender to its vision and its knowingness. Hope you enjoy the service with us this morning. 